my little friends. Hello, Hello Dr. Dr. Beaconspear. Dr. Beaconspear, your car is very beautiful. Thank you, Sam. Dr. Beaconspear, do you love cars? Yes, indeed, Pam. I do love cars. I love to read about them and know all the latest updates related to them. Wow, that's really wonderful, Dr. Beaconspear. I can talk for hours and hours about cars. Well, how about we also do a little speaking activity about our favorite transport? I hope you both remember what we discussed about speaking activities. Yes, Dr. Beaconspear, I do remember. In such activities, we talk about some topic, and these activities help in building our communication skills. We can express ourselves better and gain confidence, too. We get a chance to learn new vocabulary, know about new things, and exchange information with others. Absolutely right, both of you. I am really glad you pay such good attention to what I tell you. Today, we will do an activity called Show and Tell. Show and Tell? Yes, Show and Tell. It's a very simple activity. In this, you show an object in the form of a flashcard, picture, or a real-life object. And then talk about it. Dr. Beaconspear, so do we follow similar pointers like for any other speaking activity? Yes, Pam. Keep the following points in mind. Maintain eye contact with your audience. Speak each word clearly with proper pronunciation. Speak in a moderate tone, neither too loud nor too soft. Remember to modulate your voice, give more emphasis on important words, and raise or lower the tone of your voice according to what you are saying. While speaking, give proper pauses, keeping the punctuation in mind. Maintain a smart body posture and use appropriate gestures wherever required. Now, in addition to these pointers, remember to show the object or the picture you are talking about, as the main objective here is to show and describe. You can even dress up as the character you are speaking about. That's exciting! Can I even dress up as a flower if I want to speak about it? I wouldn't like to pluck a flower for my activity. Yes, dear. You can dress up as the object also. You can even bring a drawing of the flower or hold an artificial flower. You can be as creative as you want to be. So are we going to do a show and tell activity today? Yes, dear. How about we all talk on the topic, my favorite transport? That sounds like fun. But first, can you please show us how to do it, Dr. Beaconspear? Sure, Pam. Let me speak about my car. It's right here. This is my car. It is a Ford Model T. The Ford Motor Company produced this car in the early 1900s. My car is dark blue in color. It has four black tires. It has four doors with silver handles. It is a model of land transport. We cannot use a car to carry heavy loads or too many passengers. Okay, now I will give you some time to prepare and then you each must speak about any mode of transport that you want to show and tell us about. Can I speak about my bicycle? Sure you can. We are all ears. This is my favorite mode of transport, my bicycle. It's a Hercules mountain rider. It's blue in color and has seven gears that help me control its speed. My parents got me this bicycle on my fifth birthday. Though I did not know how to use the gears then, I have learned to use them well now. I ride it every evening and I also use it to go to school. I love my bicycle. That was superb. We love seeing and hearing about your bicycle. Sam, what would you like to show and tell us about? Well, I don't have 
have any mode of transport to show. So, will it be okay if I show and tell about my watch? Sure, go ahead, my child. We can show and tell about any object, or even a person, according to the topic given for the activity. Let's hear you show and tell a thing you possess and are proud of. This is my watch. It's a Titan sports model. It's black in color, and its numbers and hands glow in the dark. It has a smart leather strap. It has an alarm feature that helps me set reminders for the day. It also has its GPS enabled, so my parents can track me and know where I am during the day. I wear it to school every day. My uncle bought it for me last Christmas for getting good grades in my class assessment. I am very proud of it. Isn't that cool? Sure is. And you spoke very well, my child. Thank you, Dr. Beacon Spear. This was fun. Yes, and now we can confidently speak about anything we want to show and tell. Just remember that you have to describe the object you are showing and talk about its uses. Yes, if we are talking about a person, we introduce him or her by their name and age. Talk about how they look, and also about their profession, hobbies, or how they are special to us. Yes, dear, you are right. Also, remember to keep your beautiful smile on your face while you are speaking. A smiling person with a cheerful voice always makes a good speaker. We'll do that always. Bye for now, kids. Bye, Dr. Beaconspear. Bye, Dr. Beaconspear. Show an object in the form of a flashcard, picture, or a real-life object and then talk about it. Keep these points in mind when you speak. Maintain eye contact with your audience. Speak each word clearly with proper pronunciation, modulation of voice, proper pauses and punctuations. Maintain a smart body posture. Use appropriate gestures wherever required. 